welcome to the show that scoops the truth from the honeypot about the people who represent the people in our parliament and what they are up to and why it matters. I'm Bree. And I'm Nico. This is Eye on the Hive. There was panic across the nation today after news from the Beehive of a law to ban the internet because too much time is wasted on it. Here is our reporter Shakila. <laughs> Well, yes, in an almost empty house today, the Minister for Statements and Announcements declared plans for a new law to ban the internet nationwide. This could send the country back to terms... Wait. Wait, where was I? Nationwide. This could send the country back to the last century in terms of progress. What does the government hope to achieve with this law, apart from making themselves unpopular with anyone born after 1990? We'll bring you more information as it comes to hand. Back to you, Brian Nico. Yes, it all seems unusual. Let's have a look at the speech the Minister made in the House earlier today. Mr Speaker, this bill to ban the internet will have many benefits. Without, your dis without the distraction of the internet, people would play more sports, talk to each other, exercise more and become generally more smart. The internet is turning our minds into oh, too slush. And we are becoming a country of square-eyed sofa potatoes with funny cat videos. Banning the internet will have lasting benefits not only for our children, but, our, but for our children's children, children. And we understand the Minister for Statements and Announcements has just gone on an emergency holiday and is unavailable to the media. And what does the Prime Minister have to say about it all? Our reporter Desmond was at the PM's press conference earlier today. Thanks for coming. I want to address the speculation around the ban, the internet bill. At this point, no decision has been made either way. It's safe to say that going forward, we definitely will not be looking backward. Any word on... Any word on the Minister for Statement and Announcement? who has now gone on holiday. This is just a hard-working minister who's gone away on a long overdue holiday. I wouldn't read too much into it. When can we expect this legislation to be put before the House? It'll be put before the House after we've considered the issue. We're looking at finding a middle ground, which I don't think is over the top under the circumstances. No more questions. Thank you for coming. Here at the Eye on the Hive, we've heard rumblings of the government. Move the camera. Move the camera. Here at the Eye on the Hive, we've heard rumblings of the government dicking up that old political hot potato of changing the voting age. Some are saying that lowering the voting age from 18 to 12 could gain around half a million new voters. Not exactly small fry. Packing down on the tight side of the media scrum is our reporter Asarai. Yes, I am warming up for the media scrub. It's just about to happen here as we await the Honourable Minister of Various Things. Minister, is it true that, or oh, is it true there has been discussion about changing voting age, will there be an um, announcement soon? An announcement is always a possibility. Could the voting age could be changed from 18 to 12 to capture the youth vote? Well, when I was 12, all I wanted to do was climb trees and look at comics. But Minister, the question is, will, the, will, will it the change in your opinion? Anything can change. I even changed my shoes this morning since I was going 
to do a lot of walking. Now, excuse me. OK, the minister is not giving anything away at this stage. We'll let you know wh what we know, when we know it. Back to you in the studio. Now it's time for the Eye on the Hive by-election live special. Tonight we are looking at a by-election for the seat of Miani. There are two parties that have provided candidates who are eager to win your vote. The Square Party's candidate feels that they need to reintroduce cell phones at school and that school should only be open for a total of 30 minutes each day. The Pair Party's candidate believes that each person can have $50 per day and not need to pay bills every month. Leading the debate is our reporter, Charlie. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Meet the Candidates debate. Come in. What are you going to bring the people of Miani? Why should they vote for you? They should vote for me because I'm going to let you bring your cell phones to school and 30 minutes of school a day and free pies and lollies. And Lily, how do you respond to that? Why should the people of Miani elect you to Parliament? Um... Well, the reason they should vote for me is because every person will get $50 per day and will never have to pay their bills again. Well, thank you very much for coming along and good luck to you all. Back to you in the studio. The political forecast based on the eye of the hive political poll. Thanks, Nico. Well, we are the people they believe the most is the most pressuring issue in the coming election, and the results are in. Thirty percent of those of those surveyed said housing. Forty-five percent said line dancing regulation. Fifteen percent said more homework for students, with ten percent saying they didn't know. And now the latest political option poll, the Square Party, tracking at a healthy zero up by two. The Peer Party with five and the Swag Party nil at all at half time with 15% saying they did not know. So at this stage, it's fair to say that this is still anyone's election. Back to the studio. And that's another day in Parliament. They say a week in is a long time in politics. All the more reason to keep an eye on the hive. Good, Good night. Izuko Midoriya. Izuko Midoriya, buddy.